everyone. So this is the cooking part. Um, I do have the, um, I have a, a small Cornish hen and I'm actually going to just put a little bit of stuffing and then I'm going to put it in the oven for 350 or 375 depending on the speed in which you want to cook it. Um, so here we go. Little, 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 little Cornish hen. And then I already um, made the stuffing. And pretty much stuffing, um, I actually use this, um, the stove top and you just pretty much follow the um, instructions on how much water to put in and how much butter and uh, you just mix it on the stove and just, so I'm just going to stuff it really quick and then I'll show you when I put it into the oven. Alright, so just have a spoon. I'm just using just a regular spoon and I'm just going to pretty much stuff the little hen into the crevice. Just stuff what you can. Alright, so I'm just going to finish this up and then um, we'll put it into the oven, okay? Alright, so I already finished stuffing the bird, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the wing and just fold it up and over the shoulder so it kind of rounds out, and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Um, for this Cornish hen, I already ended up marinating it um, overnight with my um, brine that I just found online. You can brine it if you want to, but if you don't, you might want to put a little bit of chicken stock and just kind of put a little bit just so it doesn't get too dry. So, because it is a small bird, this um, will actually serve up to like three or four people or two to four, depending on how much you eat. And I'm um, just going to put the timer. So we'll do, oh, actually, we'll bake this for the 375 timer. Oh. All right, let's try that again. So I'm going to put bake time, 3.75, and then I'm going to put the timer for, let's just, I'm just going to leave it in for, I'm not sure how long it's going to take, it's probably going to take like about, about an hour or two, so. Alright, so at this time we're just going to wait until it's preheated and um, I'll put it right into the oven and we'll just wait for that. And um, for the stuffing, whatever I did use, I'm actually going to turn on the heat and just reheat everything just to make sure because it did take uh, touch the raw poultry so um, or raw chicken. So uh, I'll put this right back on the stove and warm it right back up and then... Uh, I'll show you when I put it into the oven. Alright, so just to <laughs> give the little hen some color, I'm actually, I don't have any um, paprika. I always use paprika, but today we're just going to use some um, pepper flakes. Um, this one isn't too spicy, but this is just the color. I'm just going to put a little bit on top, but I do prefer Alright everyone, so it's um preheating is done. I'm actually gonna put the um the head into the oven. So we're just gonna open this up and place this right inside. This and then uh probably halfway through, um once an hour goes in, I'm I'm just gonna grab some butter and then I'm gonna just lather it on top a little bit just for that goldenness and um, for flavoring and it's going to be the butter is just pretty much slightly salted um we'll stay tuned um i'll check in within an hour all right everyone so um since we're waiting for the um hen to cook i already made the warmed up the um the stuffing so i'm going to set it aside and then i'm going to make some instant mash and then some um um, some gravy. So we'll just get this out. And we'll save it for later. Okay. Alright, 
And then for the gravy, I might normally um, use just brown gravy or chicken gravy or just whatever you like. Alright, and the um, gravy of choice is I normally use um, just regular brown gravy. I don't measure it with the measuring cup. I just pretty much will empty the contents with um, into a saucepan and then I'll refill this up with water um, just to the rim and then that will be the gravy. And to me, that's just pretty much perfectly um, measured. Alright, so um, since I did empty the uh, stuffing, I'm going to set it aside. And then um, same pot. I know it has all that stuff inside, but it's okay. I'm just going to rip this up. Normally, gravy is best if you make it like just right before the the poultry or whatever turkey, whatever you're cooking is out. But I'm just gonna make it everything and just set them aside. Yeah. All right. So this is my empty packet. Going to grab a little water bottle. Fill it just to the top. As close as I can. Alright, so I'll put this on low and then um, just continue stirring it until it gets thick and then I'll set it aside and then we'll make the mashed potato. Alright everyone, so I actually just took um, the gravy right off the um, the heat and I set it aside. I want to grab a bowl, but you pretty much want it just to coat the bottom. Yes, I normally do cook um, very minimal with pans. Um, I do have a dishwasher, but I hate washing dishes anyways. But you want probably nice consistency. You might still see bits and pieces of the stuffing still, but okay. So I'm just going to actually pour this into a Tupperware. Um, yeah. And I'm actually going to just rinse this really quick. And then we'll start with the um, mashed potatoes. Alright, everyone. So I'm actually back. Um... Instant mashed potato of choice is the Idaho um, Spuds Classic. Um, just what I had in the pantry. And uh, we're actually, I'm just going to follow directions on what it is in the back. You can kind of see I'm probably going to do like um, six servings. So, um, I have, do have my little one and she does love her potatoes. I do have fresh ones, but today is just a quick video on how to make like everything quick, you know what I'm saying? So, um... We're going to actually grab um, two cups of water. So we'll just do that. Since I, have... Ooh, I have to grab more water. I'll be right back. All right. Okay. So let's just finish. Do two cups of water. So three. Two cups. The water. I'm just reading the instructions as I go. Two cups of water, three tablespoons of butter. Um, the butter I kind of cut already, but they do have the measurements right on. So we'll drop in the butter. And then uh, three fourths tablespoon of salt, one cup milk, and two cups of potato. Or potato flakes so I'm not really big on salt so I'll probably just splash in a little probably like a few pinches not too salty that's good enough and then um, I don't have any milk I just ran out so I'm gonna use almond milk all right and then the almond milk I have is just pretty much almond breeze and uh, the milk is says to put in one cup. So we'll do that. I don't know how this is going to come up, but we have to use what we have, right? Put this cup up there. Alright. And then on the side. I'm just going to measure out two 
cups of flakes. I do hope I have enough. Oh, that's one. Oh, well, perfect to. Oh, good measurements today. So um, we'll stir this up and wait till it boils. And then once it's fully boiled, and then we'll just throw the flakes in, and then mashed potatoes are done. Alright, so the water is about to boil. Um, for the hen, I ended up taking a little bit of aluminum foil and covering the top, because it is um, smaller than, you know, the regular turkey. Um, one of my viewers wanted me to make a turkey dinner, but um, I'm only a small family of three. So it's just myself, my husband and my little one, so if I made a turkey, it would be a little too much food. Um, I'll probably make a video if I do have any family gatherings. Um, I'll show you how I prep and make the turkey. But for now, this is just a small dinner, and um, I'm not sure if I'm going to have any leftovers to make any sandwiches or anything, but i um, just showing you what I do. And so... Boil. I just open the heat onto high, and then once you get that rapid boil, um, you pretty much close the heat and then you just pour the plates over and then it should be ready. So let's wait for that. Alright everyone, as you can see, the bubbles are coming up. Um, just shut it off and I'm just going to pour it in. show you how it looks like it's so a little watery but you know if you let it sit it's gonna get a lot thicker and have that mashed potato consistency so this is done Well, since that's done, um, I was looking at the hen down, at, you know, in this oven, and um, I noticed it's very dry because it's so small. So I'm actually, I got a little bit of chicken stock, and I'm just going to pour probably half the can in. This is um, just a little can juicer opener where it just opens a little triangle. So we'll just do that. Do you want to put the top and bottom so you can get a little bit of airflow? But pretty much that's what it does. And I'll let you see what I'm going to do. So, just going to bring this camera down here. Okay. So, you can't really see it, but I'm going to put a little bit of a foil on the top. A little triangle foil. We're just, I'm just going to pour this in, just half of it, just so it has something to steam up with. Just right back in, I'll push. Alright, and that's it. So I have pretty much have the mashed potatoes, I have the stuffing, the gravy, and I'm just going to warm up, you know, a can of, you know, canned corn um, in the microwave. And um, when everything is close to about ready, I'll show you how the um, hen looks like. Okay, so stay tuned. So it's literally been about an hour now. I'm just going to check on the hen and see how it looks like. really good. I'm just going to show you how it looks. So, I'm going to put this very nice. So, Alright, so I'm going to grab a little bit of butter and this is pretty much one um, tablespoon that I had left. So I'm just going to rub it on to just 
I'm just going to rub it all on top. Just for a little extra flavor. And I'm just pretty much rubbing it until it's fully melted and there's no more butter in my hands. That's about right. All right, everyone. So it's been an hour and a half. Um, the last 10 minutes, I ended up upping the uh, temperature to 400 degrees just to golden um, the skin. I'm going to take it out right now. And I did kind of check it a little bit, but it looks really good. So it's pretty much all done. So I'll see all the juices on the bottom. And I just <laughs> microwaved some uh, corn. So I'm just going to plate everything right now. So if you can see, I'm just going to give myself... And there's definitely a lot of juices coming out. Um, so. Grab it. it. looks like it's definitely cooked all the way, which is a plus. I wasn't sure how long to cook this because normally when you do have turkey, they always have those little temperature um, thermometers. Just a little bit of stuffing. So. so I'm actually gonna grab some from the one I made previously. And then a little bit of mashed potatoes. Mind you, everything was instant, so. <laughs> a little bit of that on the side. And grab a little bit of corn. Gonna drizzle a little bit of uh, gravy I made earlier. Put on the mashed potatoes. Pretty much how the meal looks like. everyone so um finished cooking the meal it looks really good so I just grabbed a chicken leg thigh and then have the corn um mash and gravy and stuffing I normally like brown gravy I don't really like the chicken or the other type of gravies I just like the unique taste of this mm, that's really good all right so Drink of choice today. I'm drinking some Coco Libre or coconut juice. It's pure organic coconut water. There's no sugar added, so. I'm gonna try the chicken on. Mmm, it was so good. It's so tender. Normally if you make this, it just tastes so much better if you brine it overnight. The meat, 
is infused with flavor and you'll have it from inside and out. Mm. I'm glad I cooked this. Today, I was supposed to make Spanish rice for my sister-in-law and show her how to cook it. But I forgot to take the meat out of the freezer and thaw it. So I ha actually had thawed this the night before and it was already brining in flavor. Um, and in my brine, I normally put like apple juice, water, chicken broth, thyme, rosemary, and all that stuff. So, mm. <clears throat> <coughs> excuse me, that went down the wrong hole. I totally forgot to bring a knife. That's okay. Mm. Mm. So good. I definitely hope you try making this at home. Honestly, if you roasted a, um, any poultry, um, if you just sprinkled it with um, a little salt, a little um, paprika, and then of course you put the stuffing in, the flavors are all there already. But you definitely want to pour in a little bit of chicken broth in it. Just so it has some a little moisture. Now instant mashed potato. You can definitely tell it's not the same as a regular um, potato that you would boil and mash and everything but mm, it's still good Today is so nice outside. It's so warm. It's about time. Last week, it there was nothing but rain. So I know this meal isn't big, but I'm trying to eat in moderation, but it's okay. I enjoy making and eating at the same time, so. Okay, I'm almost. 
almost done. I know when I do cook, <laughs> I'm not the best at showing you how to put the ingredients in, what's in it, but I'm the type that I really don't measure my, my foods when I make it. I kind of just guess and just put it in. So good. One of the best meals that I made so far. But you definitely have to try making this at home. Anyways, um, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and take care. Bye.